Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we have a 2017 Nissan Rogue and we're going to be taking a look at the Rolla TX102 hanging style bike rack. There is a three and four bike rack version available too on eTrailer.com. So if you need a little bit more bikes on your car besides two, go ahead and pick which one is going to work best. But this one in particular is going to be able to carry two bikes with three tie down points per bike. We're going to have two here up top and we're going to have a third down here. And this is going to be the anti-sway cradle. It does exactly what it's called. And that just helps that sway, limiting that bike to bike contact that you get when you're going down the road. It's pretty easy to get this bike off the rack. So let's just go ahead and do it. These are soft and durable straps. So they're going to last for a long time and not damage your frame. It's going to be the same on this side over here and also a rubber strap here. And once you get that done, you can just go ahead and take your bike off the rack. So as you can notice, there is a couple ridges right here. And basically what that does is leave a little bit of room for your bike cables just so they're not smashing up directly against your frame. And it does have a nice rubber coating to it, so it's also going to protect that frame. And I always just like to replace these when I'm not using them. It's just a basically a habit I got into. You do whatever you would like. One other thing regarding safety. There is a built-in cable lock to keep your bikes nice and safe whenever you leave them on your car. And what it's going to do is just going to plop onto the end here. And as you can see, we will get a key with this kit. It's always nice buying a product, knowing you don't have to really go back to the store or online and buy more products. This one comes with it and it stores in that center mast. One of the other things that makes this bike rack nice is we can tilt it away. We don't have to take it out of our hitch to be able to access the back. Pull this pin here. That's going to allow that tilting feature. Which then, as you can see, we don't have any contact with our rear hatch, so we can grab whatever we need. And whenever we're done, we just lift it back up into place and replace our pin. So with any hitch mounted accessory, we are going to add a little bit of length. In this instance for the two bike version, we are going to be about 20 inches from our bumper. We can cut that down a little bit if we need to get a little bit less length off our vehicle for it to fit into our garage. Just pull this pin here, rotate it down and replace it. And what that's going to do is bring that length down to about 10 inches from our bumper down to this point right here. And looking at our shank, we do have a pretty unique design. We are gonna be able to put this on two different size hitch receivers. We do have it on the two inch here, but by removing this bolt and the other bolt on the other side, this housing is gonna rotate. And as you can see, there is a quarter or an inch and a quarter shank here. And as we rotate that, it is gonna be able to fit both those sizes. It also does come with an anti-rattle bolt, and what that's going to do, it's going to limit that shake and play on the inside of our hitch. And as you can see, we don't have any play down in our hitch, and our car is really moving. So be rest assured, we're not going to have any rattling going on. But other than that, that's just about it for the Rolla TX-102 on our 2017 Nissan Rogue. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 